My dear people of God, I greet you all in the name of Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So far, God has guided us, led us, and even now, He is ready to guide us and lead us. This November 12th day, God will guide you. My dear people of God, those who believe, He is our fortress. He is our protection. His words are the swords of spirit. So don't be hesitating. Don't be shedding your tears. Be bold in the Lord. Today, all the Jesus Meets YouTube families, GPS Robinson Facebook friends, I am able to stand before you, speaking for you, and giving you the prophetic word from the Lord is makes me glad. Not only that, you are sharing to others, right? I think about that and praise God for what you are doing. Because of you, many people of God are really strengthened. They are receiving rest from the Lord. Today, what God is going to speak to us? One Corinthians, same chapter twelve. We are looking about every treasures hidden in this chapter. Let's turn to chapter twelve and verses ten. To another, the interpretation of tongues. The interpretation of tongues. This is one of the blessed, gracious gift from the Lord. My dear people of God, in one Corinthians chapter fourteen verses thirteen also says, "Therefore let him who speaks in a tongue pray that he may interpret." Paul writes this. We are filled in the Spirit of God. We just speak in tongues and pray and worship the Lord. The inner man is strengthened. He is becoming more courageous, and he receives the confidence. At the same time. One of the special, gracious gift is interpreting the tongue. Generally, when you receive the Holy Spirit, every one will be filled in the Spirit. They just praise God. They praise God and worship the Lord. But interpreting a tongue is different. That is one of the gift of the Spirit. Hope you understand it. I believe that. Generally, we speak in tongues. That is worshiping and praising God and speaking to God. But interpreting is different. That is a interpretation. That is a gift. So what I am inspiring to tell you is, you need to go and ask God. When you ask Him, surely He will give it to you. He is the one who gives you desires, deeds, and every thoughts has been given to him. That's what Paul says in Philippians. He says, "Lord, if you teach me the interpretation of the tongues, the people of God will be blessed, and they will be comforting, and that will also alert them." Glory be to God, my dear people of God. Once in a place. All were speaking in tongues and praising God, and there were two guys who were unsaved people, and they were sitting behind the church and they were mocking at the people who were praying and worshiping in tongues. They were just hearing them and just mocking them, and they were saying simply they are shouting. Them. Immediately, suddenly, a woman of God started to speak in English. And she never knew English, and when she started to speak in English, the whole voice and and the way she was shouting in English, these guys were afraid. They said they are speaking about uh, speaking against the spirit of God, speaking against the spiritual gifts. Immediately they were shocked, and they just came inside the church. So in these last days, we need to. Go to God and ask for the gift. When you fill in the spirit of God, praise Him, worship Him. Just take some time. Go into prayer. Go in anointing. And we are walking every day, right? Even today, when you walk, God will bless you. Let's pray. Loving Father, we come to Jesus in Your name. We pray for Your children. That's why You have. I pray for Your children. 
let them be filled with the gifts of the spirit every work they do today let your hand be upon them let your peace be with them in their houses in their workplaces in the name of jesus we pray amen god's hand be with you god bless you our address jesus meets ministries number 4 kavarapalayam main road abadi chennai 54 india telephone number 9841252836 7299546363 email id gpsrobinson@hotmail.com gps.office@jesusmeets.org website address www.gpsrobinson.org